Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to XPS Tech. I am Vineet and the LTS release of the most widely used Linux distro, Ubuntu 20.4, codename Focal Fosa is out now. Now this release is special because it's the long term support version which is released once every two years. The LTS releases of Ubuntu are supported for five years. So this current release will be supported till 2025. But you can also get extended support of 10 years if you opt for the Ubuntu Advantage support plan, which is a paid service that now covers not only the core system, but also support for 30,000 plus software packages. Now, Ubuntu is a well-established Linux distro that has a long history. Last year, it celebrated its 15th anniversary. Now, Ubuntu is popular because it guarantees stable desktop experience. And the distro is rock solid. And this key feature makes it a perfect candidate for enterprise servers, cloud computers, and any computer that deals with critical operations. It is also the reason why Ubuntu has such a long list of derivative distros, which includes popular names like Linux Mint, Elementary OS, Zorin OS, etc. So in this video, we'll take a look at this latest release of Ubuntu and cover all the major changes introduced in this special LTS release. So we start off with the installation. The size of the installation image is 2.7 gigs and the installation process remains the same as previous versions. So no changes here. Ubuntu 20.4 now also supports secure boot with UFI to protect systems against firmware level attacks. It also now supports display of OEM logo as boot splash. So when you start the computer, you will see the logo of your computer manufacturer. Now this release is running on Linux kernel 5.4, which was released in November last year. So it's not the latest kernel, but it's an upgrade from the previous release of Ubuntu. And that's okay. With Ubuntu, we don't really expect bleeding edge softwares as stability of the system is the top priority here. Now the desktop has also been upgraded to GNOME 3.36 due to which you'll get many visual improvements in the new release. So let's go through each of them. All right, so the first change is the lock screen. Now you have a blurred background wallpaper with date and time at the center. And when you press any key, there's a subtle scrolling effect, which replaces date and time with login prompt. The background wallpaper remains the same. Now earlier on the login prompt, the background wallpaper used to get replaced by a plain color background. Now this is how the login screen looks with multiple user account. And if you have the lock screen notifications turned on, you'll get all the notifications at the bottom of the lock screen. Now, once on the desktop, you get the same welcome app on first reboot. Now, after you pass that and you get to the desktop, the immediate change that you notice is that the Amazon shortcut, which used to be in the dock, is now gone. It has been a part of Ubuntu dock since I think last five to six years or maybe longer. Now, the other change is in the design of the power off menu. Now here the shortcuts to settings and lock is added and now instead of a circular button for power off, lock and settings app, you now have all the options listed in plain text. Moving on, now at the center of the top bar, the data and time menu now also have a do not disturb toggle to mute all the notifications. Now apart from that, if you go to the applications menu, the animation to list apps inside the folders has been changed. Next, the Yaru theme that has made debut in the last LTS release has also been upgraded. And now you have the aubergine as accent color for the folder icons instead of bright orange yellow shade. All right, so these were the visual changes. Now let's check out all the new features that has been added in Focal Fosa. Now for those who have a system with multiple graphic card, you now get the option to select a dedicated graphic card while launching the application. Now this is important if you want to take advantage of your powerful dedicated graphic card for certain graphic intensive application. Now Ubuntu 20.4 is also bringing support for fingerprint scanner for unlocking the computer if your computer supports that. All right, next let's talk about the settings app. Now here the immediate change that you notice is that now you have all the categories listed in the home screen itself unlike in previous version where some of the settings like display keyboard and mouse settings were sub categories inside a secondary screen now the major change here is the new appearance category that replaces the dock category now the dock setting is now inside appearance which also have three new desktop themes light standard and dark so now finally ubuntu desktop also gets a dark mode now the dark mode makes the background of windows and menus dark you can go for a completely light 
or dark desktop or you can choose the standard mode which is sort of in between but you still do not have the dynamic dark mode that is available in other Linux distros like Zorin OS or Dippin Linux. The other major improvement is the fractional scaling in display category. Now if you have a high resolution screen, now you can scale the desktop in fractions of 25% instead of 100%. Now this gives you more control to fine tune the scaling to get the optimum setting for your display. If you have a high resolution display, you'll find it extremely useful. Now as far as software packages are concerned, Ubuntu now hosts over 6000 plus Snap packages and the software app is now more closely integrated with Snap packages. You can choose uh, different versions of app available from various Ubuntu repos at the time of installation. So if you want the latest bleeding edge version of a software, you can select the unstable repo. But do remember it can compromise the system's stability. Now there are several improvements on the server and cloud versions of Ubuntu uh, that I'm not going to cover in this video. But if you're interested, you can go through this release log page. I'll put the link of this page in the description below. Now if you're on a previous version of Ubuntu like 18.4 or 19.10, you can upgrade to 20.4 without wiping out everything and installing from fresh. Now to upgrade your distro, you can go to terminal and run these command, sudo apt update apt dist upgrade and then run do release upgrade with the option dash d this will upgrade your system to the latest version of ubuntu all right now the performance now ubuntu with gnome desktop is quite heavy on resources on idle the ram usage that i was getting was around 1.4 gigs with fractional scaling turned on it is definitely not among the lightweight or the snappiest desktop but if you have a modern computer with decent enough hardware the desktop interaction will be pretty smooth all right so that was all for today thank you guys for watching this video it's a pretty important release of ubuntu and if you're on on previous version of Ubuntu, I highly recommend you upgrade to the latest version. With the latest desktop and the latest kernel, it's a pretty important update in terms of performance. Alright, so thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, kindly press the like button. If you have any comment, suggestion or feedback, do type that in in the comment box. A huge shout out to all the subscribers of XPS Tech channel. Thank you for supporting me. And thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time.